when we talk about retaining donors and all that, it's really important to give them a, a reward. And here's a really great example here. So Freddie, Freddie, come. I'm gonna call him, okay? I'm working on this thing with him. Freddie, come. Freddie, come. I don't think he's paying attention. Freddie, come. I just gave him a treat like a minute ago. So I think he might be good. Actually, if he would come here, it would help me <laughs> with the blog post. Freddie, Freddie, come. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna walk. The point is, reward is deeply associated with uh, action in the human brain. So for example, here's Freddie now. If I say to Freddie, I don't want to say stay or good boy. I'm really trying to get him to understand the command of come, okay? So what I do is when I give him the treat, I just say come, come, come. I repeat it a few times. He associates it with the treat. This is how dog training is done. And so you, you want a reward for positive behavior, right? So if someone makes a donation to you or joins your email newsletter, you want to go above and beyond and give them a reward that they didn't expect. For example, if someone makes a donation, pick up the phone, give them a call, no strings attached, say thanks. If you do that to, you know, 25, 50 people a week, that alone will boost and increase the retention, right? So it's not all about social media. Use every single tool that you have to connect with your people uh, in a way that's remark that get that impresses them and that rewards them, makes them feel great. Guess what? They come back for more. Okay.